Welcome to Influential Entrepreneurs, bringing you interviews with elite business leaders and experts, sharing tips and strategies for elevating your business to the next level. Here's your host, Mike Saunders. Hello and welcome to this episode of Influential Entrepreneurs. This is Mike Saunders, the Authority Positioning Coach. Today we have with us Cody Church, who's the owner and founder of Tap Energy and winner of the 2023 Regis University Innovation Challenge. Cody, welcome to the program. Hi, Mike. Thanks for having me today. You're welcome. So I'm excited to talk with you and congratulations on winning that challenge. I know that is quite an honor. So I want to learn all about that, but uh, get us started with uh, your story. What's your background and how did you get into this uh, industry? Sure. Well, thanks a lot. Yeah, I um, I grew up on a farm in uh, Nebraska and we, um, we kind of always did things um, on, on a shoestring budget. And um, I learned to be pretty thrifty with... Um, my, my thought process is growing up and I ended up going to college to be an engineer. And while I was doing that, um, non-traditionally, I, I married my wife and I was going to school at the same time and we were watching Shark Tank one night and we, um, we, were, we were watching the water run down the drain. And I thought, man, wouldn't that be awesome if we could capture the power of water and create electricity with it? And so um, <laughs> I was working full time at the time as well while going to school for my engineering degree. And I was, I thought I would tease. So working full time, married and thinking about launching a business, you didn't sleep at all during that time frame, did you? (laughs) No, 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 not much. Um, A lot of sleepless nights there. So, yep. Yeah. And and so I, I used university to as a platform to kind of tease some of these ideas out and kind of kind of play around in a controlled space and um you know move my way from engineer to engineering management and I really got to the point where I I um thought you know I can I can make this happen so went ahead and founded um tap energy in 2021 and uh, started filing for a patent on my technology and um, here I am today, very early in the startup process, um, working on some working prototypes and uh, collecting data at the moment. So it's been an exciting um, adventure at this point. That's awesome. And I love, I mean, I've probably watched every single episode of Shark Tank and sometimes twice and um, my whole family loves it. We can uh, look at it and go, oh, you won $100,000 for uh, 10% equity in the company and my kids can go. What's the business valuation? Oh, a million. So, I mean, it's like, it's just such an educational thing. So it's really neat that that kind of spurred you on to think that way. Um, And then at at some point you started, you know, teasing out the ideas and getting kind of like a proof of concept conceptually. Um, Now you're starting to work on a, um, you know, prototype. Do you have a working prototype enough to have proof of concept? Yeah. So um while I was going to university, I made some small working prototypes where um, I had actually 3D printed them and we were able to um, charge a cell phone from uh, running water in a tap (laughs) with a 3D printed um, hydroelectric turbine. And so uh, I took that and I enhanced the design. And and what I really wanted to do was scale it up to where I could use it in a residential setting because, you know, working full time, I I have limited time and resources. So my house was the perfect test bed for that. So that's what I'm what I'm in the middle of right now is getting that installed in my home so I can collect data. Um, I've been tracking my water usage here for uh, a number of months. Uh, we just bought a new house, so it's a, the perfect time to get this thing installed. Yeah. Um, I, I'm also looking at, you know, I, I've done a, a lot of the the business background and market research and commercial is really where it is. So as soon as I get the, the residential version installed and working, uh, my next step is to scale this technology to a commercial yep. setting as well. Of course. Um, and, you know, getting with business advisors will tell you uh, one thing or the other, but you got to start with where you're at. And I love that you started with a cell phone because it's like, OK, this is working. It's kind of like uh, those experiments in science class where it's like I'm, I'm making this electricity work off of a potato. You know, so right. if you can make your um, technology charge a cell phone. OK, then now how do we go to the next larger thing and the next larger? Well, 
obviously your house. So there you go. There's that because the residential market is going to be huge. And then now that proof of concept goes and, you know, you, you certainly don't pitch to like city municipalities before you've got true proof of concept in residential, because then they sneer at it if it doesn't work. So right. I just love how that sounds. And let's tie in now, before we get into details of what that does, tell us a little bit about the Regis Innovation Challenge. How did that come about? What was that experience like? Yeah, that was a really great experience. So I was finishing my MBA um, late last fall, and one of my instructors had encouraged me to join the Regis Innovation Challenge. Uh, I was working on the same same concept in one of his innovation classes, and and I thought, oh man, I don't know if I have enough time to do this. And I talked to my wife, and she said, "Are you crazy?" She's like, "You have to go for it." So yeah, I ended up signing up for the for the competition, and you know it was really great. I got to meet a lot of um, great um, mentors that helped guide me through the process of a startup. You know, this is very new to me. Uh, it's yeah. not what I do as a day job. So I um, got to meet with some, some great industry contacts, get some really good insights into both residential and commercial um, really worked on the business plan and how, how I was going to roll this out to the world. Um, we met on a number of different Saturdays throughout the winter. And then the, in the spring, um, making progress all the way um, along until we got to April. And, you know, I, I was fortunate enough to pitch each of our pitch nights and make it to the next cut and kept getting more excited. And, and I just threw more energy at it. And, you know, lo and behold, in April, um, I was able to pitch on the final night and, and win the competition. And I'm, I'm grateful for the experience. That's awesome. And and that becomes another aspect of proof of concept because it's not the actual technology, but you you had people that are proving that it's a viable idea. So I think that is really neat. And those those challenges, you know, it is not just submit this and yeah, you won. It is grueling and it is competitive. So to win that is just such a huge honor. Yeah, absolutely. And, 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 you know, what was really great about it is I, I got rid of my ugly baby syndrome. You know, I, I thought my idea was really great, but I, I really listened to those people that were giving me that feedback. And I was able to mm -hmm. pivot the business a little along the way, which was really great Neat. and set me up for success to where I am today. Yes. Excellent. And guess what? You never you, you never quit doing that. You know, Tony Robbins teaches about Kanai, C-A-N-I, constant and never ending improvement. So you're going to pivot slightly here and then pivot slightly there and then, you know, improve this and iterate that. So it's just constant. So let's jump into what actually is a micro hydro electric turbine that now is going to power uh, energy from water in our houses and beyond. Sure. Well, tap energy is really geared towards um capturing wasted energy that's produced in our daily lives. So think about water running in your house. Um, you know, you're sprinkling your lawn, you're washing your clothes or your dishes. Um, every time you use water, there's power in that. And what a micro hydro turbine is, is basically a mini Hoover Dam that you can fit in your home or your business. So I'm capturing that potential energy in that water and converting it to usable electricity. <laughs> Um, so it's it's, it's not, not work. It, it only works when water runs. Then, right? It does. It does. Okay. Um, and it works on a very small scale. So think of you know this device as in a residential setting as a single solar panel for your house. So it's not meant to be okay. um, a, a complete replacement for power um, generation, but it's a supplement to what you've already got. Okay. So maybe thinking creatively, could solar and micro hydro work together? They can. And that's the really great thing. Um, it, it, you know, we live in Colorado here. And so we typically water our lawn at night because the sun is so intense during the day and we don't want to waste the water that we're, mm -hmm. we're putting down. So uh, we've got solar on the house during the day. We're generating electricity during the day. But when the sun goes down, there's nothing to generate that electricity. Well, now my sprinklers start running in the summertime and they're running for a long duration. So they're supplementing that, that power generation that I had during the day. So it, it, it runs um, anytime you're using water, which is great. Yeah, that's huge. So let's talk about a little bit about when this is fully proven, working, operational. What are some of those benefits? So I know that then it becomes like, oh, well, it's a complement to you know solar because like you just said it's probably not gonna go 
help someone go off the grid and run their house electricity on um, water because just of the of 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 that uh, volume. But how does that tie into renewable energy, and how can that look uh, attractively from a thirty thousand foot view? Yeah, absolutely. Well, well this is a, a passive device. So once this is installed in your house, it, you go about your daily life and you you forget that it's even there and you're reaping the benefits. So in a home, you know, you may be creating 500 watts of electricity. And what does that mean? Well, that's running five flat screen TVs or 50 LED bulbs um, when the water's running. So um, you're going to offset your electricity bill by three to 8% a month, um, which doesn't sound like a lot. That's something like, you know, you got a free Starbucks every month. And that's yeah. really where the business took a turn it is we, we started looking at commercial and where are those high use water areas. So we're looking at um, uh, agriculture. You know, we, we water our crops. There are hundreds of millions of gallons a year used in water to water crops to feed the U.S. We've got things like golf courses, too. So that's a luxury thing. People love to go out to those green golf courses, but it takes a lot of water to do that. So what we can do is we can create these devices and we can gen- we can offset their electricity needs, say, maybe to run your clubhouse or to run some of, some of your pumps that are um, irrigating your fields. So. That's it's, it's, that's a great great point. Yeah, you watch for. Th- I like how you're framing that up. You're watching for things that you're already doing to maximize that effect. You're already watering this. You're already using sprinklers or things like that. So how can we tap into that? Which which kind of ties into your company name. I love that. Uh, tap Energy. Um, because I just found myself saying that, and then I'm like, oh yeah, that's the name of your company. So how can you <laughs> tap into the process that's already going to get? energy to do another process that you would normally pay for or is a type of um i don't know energy source that might not be as environmental friendly so i think it's right. such a, a neat uh, a neat concept yeah and, and while sometimes you may think that the generation is small uh, if we get a lot of people doing this because it's easy for them to do right they, they go about their daily lives and they're they're reaping the benefits of what they're already doing um we, we get thousands of these out there um, it makes a, a material impact on the way we generate power in the us um and, and the world in general you know i don't think there's a one size fits all for how we generate electricity i don't think it's all going to come from coal or oil or it's all going to come from solar. We have to be creative about these concepts that we come up with and these products that we develop um, to supplement each other and to work together in harmony. So, so um, I've never heard of this technology before, but so I'm asking questions as that inquisitive mind, but it makes me think about the batteries in the EV cars that it sounds all great to not use gas and just charge up electrically. But then all of a sudden, after a period of time, when you need to get a new battery, it's 20 grand or more. And it's like, oh, well. Wow. So have you looked at some forward thinking to go, okay, what's the, what's this going to cost? Like, is it going to be feasible for a homeowner to go, Hey, I can add this in and defray a little bit of my electricity. What kind of cost structure uh, would that be? You know, not dollar wise, cause I know you haven't priced it out, but is it going to be small, medium, large, that kind of thing? Yeah. So, uh, you know, from a residential standpoint, it's it's a cost. Um, and, and, and I have priced out a lot of this and, and we're looking at, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of fifteen hundred dollars for a device. And, and you're going to be on depending on how much water you use um, on the order of um, five to seven years for your payback. Now, that's yeah. not great. But when you compare that to solar. Yeah. Uh, your initial investment is considerably lower going with the micro hydro and your payback is, is shorter yet. And, um, you know, you're, you're gaining a benefit and you're doing something good for the environment. So I, I think, you know, residential, you're, you're going to be tugging on the heartstrings, but there's, there's you, you drive around anywhere in the Denver area and you see solar panels on roofs everywhere. And so, so people really understand, um, you know, what these small things are actually doing and they're investing in their future. Commercially, yeah. well, that's obviously going to get a little more expensive, but the payback goes down considerably. Um, commercial use, you know, the, the demand is so much higher. So your, your payback is in the one to three year range, um, f- still for a very small investment, um, you know, less than $5,000. So it, it can make a big impact for a business, uh, small, medium or large. 
Yeah. And I know you're still in the development stage, but what are some of the kind of safety considerations or maintenance that needs to be considered? Yeah, that, that's the great thing. Uh, and that's part of the patented technology that I'm working on is, is a super simple device. So um, nearly maintenance free, there's there's very few moving parts in there. And what's in there is um, simply designed. You're looking at you know dozens of years of life before you have to do any sort of maintenance on it. Um, the great thing is, is this can not only provide power for immediate use, but you can also store it in a battery bank just like solar does as well and use it at a later time. So depending on you know what kind of bells and whistles we want to add to this, um, the maintenance is is low, but you may have some wear items at some point. Yeah. And I mean, with a price point that's affordable on the front end, then obviously if there's parts that are needed, it's not going to be horrendously expensive. So I think that's, I think you're going to get another kind of like an intangible benefit, which is like the cool factor. Like this is going to be something that people are going to want to talk about to go check this out. That's the hope. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. Okay. So then what's the next steps? What are you seeing? Like once this launches and you're getting proof of concept, what are you seeing in the viability in this industry? Is this something that's going to in time rival um, solar? I I think it's really going to supplement solar. Um, I I believe that we can put a lot of devices out there in the industry and and generate a lot of um, excitement around it. Um, it's it's not a replacement or a, not intended to be a rival to it, but but really a complement to it. Um, I like that. I think that becomes a nice positioning to the solar industry, where you know you you, you can even align with solar companies to say, look, we're not a competitor, we're a supplement, and let's yeah. let's work together. So I think that because I mean, in certain parts of the country, you might have houses that are running on solar. That here comes a a whole batch of cloudy days and now the house is struggling so maybe this becomes something where you come along supplement the solar fills in the gaps and now you have less of those days and i don't know what those research numbers look like but if that is the case that that might be very well received in the solar industry and then you come in solving that problem absolutely yeah and what we're giving the uh mechanical electrical and plumbing engineers that are that are out there specking and building houses and specking those um, systems uh, you know another menu item for them to sell um, to their customer depending on their customers needs so we're, we're, we're just giving giving more options for people to be creative with how they create green energy yep I love it. I think that is just great. Um, so I think that you have documented uh, such a neat, you know, here's this idea. I took action on it, step at a time, wasn't easy, but you built it, you built it, you you tweaked this, you 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 uh, submitted for the challenge, you did the work there, and now you got some momentum. So I think this is such an exciting technology. This is really cool. So thank you so much for doing this and coming on today, Cody. Well, um, what is the best way that someone can learn more about your technology and reach out and connect with you? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I really appreciate the time here today. Um, you can you can find me at www.tapenergyllc.com. Um, we're also on Instagram and LinkedIn. So take a look at us, follow us, um, uh, see what we're up to in the, the coming weeks and months and years. Excellent. Well, Cody, thank you so much for coming on today. It's been a real pleasure talking with you. Yeah, thank you. You've been listening to Influential Entrepreneurs with Mike Saunders. To learn more about the resources mentioned on today's show or listen to past episodes, visit www.influentialentrepreneursradio.com.